Hi everyone, I am a little bit sick right now. It like just started yesterday and I wanted to film this video today so that I'm not like too ill tomorrow to film it. This is going to be a full face of Shop Miss A makeup or the AOA studio line from Shop Miss A. Everything is about a dollar. I do think some of the things on that site are like maybe two dollars or if you get like larger sets, some of those sets are like more upwards in price but everything is like dirt cheap it's basically like shopping at a dollar store for makeup online just to let you guys know shop miss a did reach out to me and they asked if i wanted to film a video using their products they gave me no budget so i like bought everything i'm looking at my stuff and like there's a couple of things missing and i'm like dang it there's no budget i should have just picked it up but you know, I got what I got. The items that I did pick out, I kept in mind those Glossier dupes. I know a lot of people who watch my videos would be very interested in seeing a half face, Glossier half face, like literally dollar store makeup. Um, so I did pick up a lot of items that could be duped for Glossier products. For my complexion products, I picked out the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation and I also picked out the AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream and I got it in two shades of each just because I couldn't quite tell on the website like what shade I would be. Honey Beige and I got the shade Natural Beige. The packaging feels quite nice. I think honey beige looks pretty good. So honey beige is very beige and very neutrally. And then the natural beige is very, very warm. I think I'll go ahead and just mix the two. This looks to be a pretty good match. Yeah, really, really slick on the skin. And it's pretty fragranted. I don't love that. I'm going to work right now, like I'm getting ready to go to work, so hopefully these products can hold up well. I would be a mess if they didn't really, so I'm putting a lot of faith into this. Ew, I hate how I freaking look right now. I feel like my nose looks so puffy and like, I also feel like when I get sick I break out a little bit, like almost like my skin also gets like congested. It's just mess. So the coverage for this is like super duper duper sheer, um, but it does say buildable, so I am going to go in with another layer. It does look quite pretty. I really don't like the smell of it. I feel like it's going to make me like cough because it's like a little bit too strong for me. It's like really florally, but I really don't like that. So that is two layers of the serum foundation. It looks quite nice. I wasn't able to really fully cover up what's going on on my cheeks over here and what's going on on my forehead up here. This isn't a part of the AOA line, but it's the Starry Concealer. I picked these up because they were like the only potted concealer and I did want to find Glossier dupes. So I picked up the only like potted concealer that they had, which just looks like this. These are the two that I got, the two shades. There's no shade written on this, so I I don't know. I don't know what I got. Are these the same? They might literally be the same. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with this one though. Not that you would be able to tell which one I went with. But the reviews on the website the reviews on the website are like so good for like almost everything, especially for the AOA collection. This concealer definitely feels a little bit dry. This is an AOA sponge and the sponge is so freaking nice. It's so cheap too. It's like one or two dollars. Oh, that concealer blended out quite nice. I was afraid because sometimes like bad quality concealers can lift up whatever you've put up underneath of it like any foundation or something but this is blending out quite nice so that's good and it doesn't look like scary bright like it did a little bit ago I did pick up a few cream products but my bronzer was not one of them so I'm just using the elf bronzer um, you guys have seen me use this quite a few times and you guys seem to really like it too and then have a hard time finding it. I purchased this directly from the e.l.f. website. 
I think that might be the only place that you can get it. I've never seen it at Target before, and I've never seen it at Ulta before. I'm glad that foundation, like, didn't oxidize or anything. I feel like kind of cheaper foundations tend to oxidize, um, but this one seems to have stayed the color. My skin looks pretty good. I got two blushes. They are the AOA Studio Hush Cream Sheer Blush. Oh no, there's no names on these either. These are the two blushes that I picked out. This one looks a little bit more pinky and that one looks a little bit more corally but still both very warm toned. I think I'm going to go in with this one today though. I did swatch these already and they looked very, very pretty. Ooh. But yeah, I haven't put it on the cheeks yet so this is the first time on the cheeks and this looks so good. I really hope this stuff lasts well. I will be doing a check-in after work, but I will be redoing my makeup after work, so it's only going to be about like a five-hour check-in or something because I am going to see a friend of mine compete in, I think it's like a bodybuilding competition. I don't know much about it, but she's been working so freaking hard. I'm going to go ahead and like link her Instagram down below. It's super interesting and she posts a lot about like what she's eating and she also posts like about her journey and stuff through it and it was just super interesting because I'm like so far removed from any of that sort of thing um, so it was, it's really interesting to see like how people do that and and get to look like that and I mean like the struggles that they go through because she like worked so hard like working out I think and then like her eating was super restricted it's just wild so I did also get one of the Dewy Cream Highlighters. I got this shade. I got this one. I don't know what the shades are. There's no shade name on any of this. But it seemed to be really pretty when I swatched it. Gonna take that up in my brow bone. I also got a lot of these. I got like these little guys. Um, they came in a kit. So I just got the entire kit. I felt like those would probably be a good dupe for the Glossier Play Night Shines. So that's why I picked those up. I really like that nothing is being lifted up from underneath. I have like that huge problem. This highlighter is gorgeous though. It has like a little bit of a pinky sheen to it. Alright, skin looks good. What do you guys think? I don't think that this buildable satin foundation is going to give you like any sort of like glam look if you were like into that sort of thing, but it's, it's definitely pretty on the skin and I love these cheek products so far. And the concealer, don't forget about the concealer, it's not bad. I am going to set it um, just because I am going to work. So I am going to set it just in like my T-zone, um, on my nose, especially because like I'm, I try really hard not to like mess up my makeup whenever I blow my nose, but I am a little bit ill right now, so. I did pick up three liquid eyeshadows. Kinetic, Wash, and Psy. You can't see it. Psy. I felt like this would be a good dupe for Cub. This would be a pretty good dupe for Herb. And this one, I just like that one. I really wish that Glossier had a shade like this. But I am going to try this today. It is the... Glow Liquid Eyeshadow from that AOA Studio. I did swatch these and absolutely beautiful, but we will have to see how they wear on the eyelids. They might like be a creasy mess, you know? I always use a brush, even if it's like cream eyeshadow. I just don't like to get my fingers dirty. Okay, this is beautiful. This is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Wow, and to think that this is a freaking dollar. I am just going to take Tiger Eye from my Kylie eyeshadow palette um, just to put that in the crease. I really wish I got even more stuff from AOA, especially when they told me I didn't have a budget, but I just like had like Glossier dupes like on the mind, so. That's kind of like all I picked up. So, I did pick up their little brow mascaras just as like Glossier Boy Brow dupes. 
I used them yesterday and I've got to say I am pretty dang impressed. I picked up a clear, a dark brown, and a medium brown. The clear one is very odd. It's completely white. Like it looks like a lash primer. It's like honestly a little bit scary. I'm going to put all of them through my brows right now so that you can see the color, but I also picked up a sculpting brow pencil that works quite well. So I am going to put the brow mascaras through my brows just so you can see the color then I'm going to remove it and then I'm going to put this guy in my brows and then set it with one of the brow mascaras. I pulled you up even closer so that you can see better. I'm like really curious about this guy, the white one. And this is supposed to be clear. I mean maybe like a little blonde could use this. Okay, that's weird. I don't like that. So that's no good. Don't get the clear one. I think I've been using medium brown. I can't quite remember, but that's what we'll try next. They are like moussey. It's like a weird texture, but they look really nice in the brows. That brow looks so good. That looks really, really awesome. Honestly, I would just leave my brow like that. And then last, I have a dark brown, which kind of looks like a black. Oh, this is not harsh, like, at all. This actually looks good. The wand is a little bit rougher than, like, my Glossier Boy Brow. But for a dollar, it's fine. Like, I'll live with the rough spoolie. That looks good. That looks really, 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 really good. I might just fill in the other one with this guy, with the dark brown shade, and then go over it a little bit with that sculptor, that brow sculptor. So this is the brow sculptor, and it looks quite a bit like the Anastasia Brow Definer. It's very very waxy so it's really easy to control and you have to add like pressure to get color payoff which is good really really good in a brow product you don't want something that's going to be like crazy crazy pigmented or creamy or else you'll never like be able to get your brows looking normal and I used these two products yesterday these brow products at like for my internship yesterday like that's what I wore and they lasted all day I'm going to sculpt my brows up underneath with that one concealer that we used but I'm using the other shade this one they look the same but this is doing a fabulous fabulous job like this looks good I do want to add a little bit more blush. I just love the look of blush, so I want to add just a little bit more. I feel like some of that intensity was lost when I went in and powdered my face. Everything looks so good, you guys. I'm really happy with how my face looks with my dollar store makeup. I got a lipstick called Sure from their AOA Studio line. So that's what Shore looks like. That looks like a My Lip But Better situation. Maybe like a little bit cool toned. Oh shoot, but the packaging sucks. Like, look what I can do. It does feel like very cheap packaging, but it's only a dollar. And the color payoff for that is like quite nice. So, so that's Shore. And then I also have a lip gloss, a pop lip lip gloss. It's like a lip gloss color of that same shade that's what it looks like i really do not like the scent of this lipstick that's like one thing about buying cheap lipsticks is the scent of them i just like cannot get over them sometimes but i am going to apply it mm, it's like a little bit more nude than i would typically like it's okay it's a little bit drying it feels like I actually don't like this color like at all. I'm going to put the lip gloss on. Before I do that, I am going to put a little bit of lip liner on. And this is Coffee and Kissy from Morphe. Oh yeah. 
that's way better so here is how everything looks i really like it i like the skin a lot i don't know if i would grab the foundation and the concealer again but the cheek products are really calling my name i love that blush the eyeshadow absolutely gorgeous right now and my brows look so good my brows look really good and my lips i really like this lip gloss i highly doubt the lip gloss is going to stay i am going to bring the lip gloss with me to work so that i can touch up um, i'm not expecting that lip gloss to be on at my five hour check-in though but the time now is 9 17 a.m I get off of work at 3, so I probably will be back for another check-in around 3.30, so I will see you then. Hi everyone, the time now is 3.40, so it's been 6 hours, like over 6 hours. At work, since there are mirrors everywhere, I kept looking at my skin all day, and for some reason right now it looks a lot better better than it looked in the store. I felt like in the store it was making me look so gray and gross and crusty but right now it's like not looking too bad. The blush stayed on so beautifully and so did the highlight. Um, my brows look very good. The lip color was absolutely disgusting. I do not recommend the lip color at all. I'm actually about to put on some Glossier lip gloss right now. I don't recommend that lip color. When it did dry down it settled in all of the cracks in my lips and turned white like it was gross it was so nasty so i don't recommend that i've pulled you guys in closer so you guys can see like what's happening the eyeshadow has creased quite a bit but i do have the habit of like setting things back into place once they've creased i just decided not to touch my eyes because i knew i was doing a check-in but see like I kind of put everything back into place and it's not that big of a deal my makeup on my nose completely came off I have been blowing my nose and I'm usually pretty careful but like there was no way that this was staying on I just don't think that this is a very long wearing foundation creasing in my smile lines but everything creases in my smile lines. There are a couple of things that I didn't try, like I didn't get to try the BB cream, but I do definitely want to give that a shot. This definitely doesn't look terrible though. Like in Ulta today, I was over here thinking I looked so bad, but this in natural lighting, um, without that like gross fluorescent lighting, like this does not look bad really at all. So let's recap on things that I would actually buy. First of all, I say probably skip the foundation. I really did not like the smell of it, so I'm definitely not going to be using it again for that reason. I guess if you are on the strictest budget, it is not a bad product, but if you are just wanting to try it, I don't love it. Like, it, I, I won't wear it again unless it was for a video purpose. Same with the concealer. It's not horrible, and it actually didn't crease like super duper bad underneath my eyes but in certain lighting like especially in Ulta it made my under eyes just look gray like I don't know the lighting in the store also probably played a big factor but like I just really was not feeling my look today these cream cheek products though are very cute and very long wearing like they're very pigmented on the skin still I will actually be continuing to use these and I think if you want that cream blush look that natural dewy cheek look these are a super duper affordable product my brows I am a big fan of my brows I think that the sculpting brow pencil worked amazing and then same with the go brow the fiber gel I think definitely don't get that clear one but the colored ones are really really awesome so that's a really good find and they're both one dollar let me go ahead and swatch the shadows for you I do think the shadow is pretty maybe use an eyeshadow primer underneath of it sorry I am just like sick sick but they are really pretty liquid eyeshadows and they went on very nicely they do crease but for one dollar they did work quite well and i am the type of person that does not mind like just like blending something back into place so 
I don't know, up to you. The lip product, I did not like that lip gloss. I left it downstairs. I don't even want to bother bringing it back upstairs. In terms of this being literally dollar store makeup, I am impressed, but I will not be wearing the majority of these products again, unless it was for a video purpose. Like I said earlier, I did pick out several of these products to do a half face glossier, half face dollar store makeup, which I am still very much open to doing if you guys are interested in that. If you feel like after you've seen this review, that's not a video that you would be interested in, let me know and I won't do it. But I feel like enough products are still dupable, like the boy brow with the brow gel, the cream products with the cloud paints, I think the eyeshadows compared to the lid stars, even though these guys did crease, I feel like they aren't bad either. And then the Glow Baby highlighters would definitely be a dupe for the Platinum Rose Night Shine. But that is going to be it for me today. I'm so excited to wash my face off. I literally just want to wash my face off and like take a hot, hot shower get all of this knot out of my nose, and then get into some pajamas. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hopefully you did still enjoy, even though this wasn't like a super thrilling first impressions. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for putting up with my sick self. But anyway, go ahead and subscribe if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video, and hopefully I see you next time.